Breaking news. Putin's tirade against Sunak over the backed by UK Secret Services raid on the nuclear plant includes threats. In his tirade against Western support for Kyiv, Vladimir Putin has accused the UK of orchestrating an attack on a Russian nuclear plant by Ukrainian forces. At the Eastern Economic Forum in Vladivostok, the Russian president accused the United Kingdom of plotting to train Ukrainian saboteurs to attack a nuclear power plant in Russia without providing any evidence for his claims. Putin asserted that the state security service apprehended the alleged saboteurs before they could carry out their attack and that upon interrogation, the suspects admitted that they had been trained by British instructors. Because they, the United Kingdom, don't feel the ground, he said, these kinds of things are seriously concerning and can have serious consequences. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un arrived in Russia earlier on an armored train for talks with Russian President Vladimir Putin. As the Russian news agency Interfax put it, an atmosphere of absolute secrecy, pervaded the train's crossing of the Kasan station this morning. Vladimir Putin has accused the United Kingdom of masterminding an attempt by Ukrainian forces to attack a Russian nuclear facility. The Eastern Economic Forum was held in Vladivostok, and the Russian president addressed the crowd there. Do they know the stakes of their game? Putin remarked. Do they want us to launch retaliatory strikes on Ukrainian nuclear power plants? To what extent is the British Prime Minister aware of the activities of his country's secret services in Ukraine? Donald Trump faces a litany of criminal charges, all of which Russian President Vladimir Putin has denounced as persecution and used to illustrate his broader criticism of the rotten state of the American political system. The Russian president made these remarks at the Eastern Economic Forum in Vladivostok, on Russia's Pacific coast. He called the prosecution of the former U.S. president an act of political revenge. The Danish Ministry of Defense announced on Tuesday that they would be donating a package to Ukraine worth 5.8 billion Danish crowns, $833 million. The package would include tanks, infantry fighting vehicles, tank ammunition, and anti-aircraft guns. According to the ministry, the total amount will be doled out in three installments. $4.3 billion this year, $1.4 billion in 2024, and $52 million in 2025. After over a year and a half of fighting, we've used up nearly all of our defense supplies. Therefore, Foreign Minister Lars LKK Erasmussen said, we are now looking into more targeted joint procurement and international cooperation, tailored to Ukraine's needs here and now. Since Russia invaded Ukraine in February 2022, this is the 12th and largest donation package Denmark has sent to the country, according to the ministry. On Tuesday, Russian President Vladimir Putin said that Kiev could use any ceasefire to re-arm, and that Washington would continue to view Russia as an enemy regardless of who won the 2024 U.S. election, suggesting that he was preparing for a protracted conflict in Ukraine. Putin spent several hours at an economic forum in Russia's Pacific port city of Vladivostok, where he announced that the Ukrainian counteroffensive against Russian forces had failed and that 71,000 Ukrainian soldiers had been killed or wounded in the fighting. In response to questions from the Russian TV host who was acting as moderator, he said that peace talks would begin only after Ukraine had exhausted its supply of men, equipment, and ammunition. Nonetheless, he assured that Ukraine would use a truce to replenish their resources and restore the combat capability of their armed forces. Putin claimed that numerous would-be mediators had approached Russia with inquiries. Putin, he added, had said that Trump's prosecution in the U.S. was politically motivated and that it showed the rottenness of the U.S. political system. The head of the Kremlin, however, has stated that he does not anticipate any shift in U.S. policy toward Russia regardless of who is elected president next year. Putin has stated that the direction of U.S. foreign policy toward Russia will not fundamentally change, regardless of who is elected president of the United States. The United States government views Russia as a mortal threat.